Ever since I can remember, I've been drawn to the ocean. It's something inside of me that calls to the water out there. And for those of us who, like me, feel this irresistible pull of the ocean, we often heed it by becoming marine biologists. But what does it mean to be a marine biologist? It means I am a scientist trying to unravel the many mysteries that the ocean still hides from us under her deep blue surface. It means traveling to remote tropical islands in the middle of nowhere to study for the first time how certain ecosystems work and how certain species live their lives. It also means heading to the estuary right on my doorstep to see how the species that occur right under my nose live. It means early mornings, long hard days in the heat and the cold, going back day after day, spending hours on the boat or hours holding a stingray's tail. It means getting seasick or so filled with joy that it all bubbles out of you. It means hours diving or hours trudging across sand flats. It means blisters and sunburn and dry salty hair. It means performing surgery on stingrays or counting coral reefs. It means dancing with manta rays and with whale sharks. Being a marine biologist also means being responsible for this information and data I collect. It means spending an incredible amount of time, sweat and tears analyzing millions of data points. It means telling a story from those data points and sharing my passion and discoveries, encouraging citizen scientists, average people who find joy walking on the beach to help us collect information on this planet we all share. It means learning how to identify shark egg cases, learning how to create a cell phone app, learning how to do outreach on social media. It means beach walks with families, hunting for shark egg cases, lessons with primary school children or online identification courses. It means traveling to many different countries for many different conferences to give and listen to many different talks. It means endlessly boring or entertaining my friends and family with stories and facts and photos and videos. It means learning how to film and edit videos and post them on YouTube. It means being a voice to the silent life of the oceans. For me, being a marine biologist has meant becoming a champion to a group of animals that has been neglected by scientific pursuits in the past. It has meant discovering that stingrays are one of the most understudied group of animals in the whole world and being ignited by an all-consuming passion for a group of flatfish. It means collecting and sifting through stingray vomit, tracking them across hundreds of kilometers, or spending every week trying to find and swim with them to unravel their behavior. It means following my own solitary journey and being the only scientist in my country dedicated to the animals who also need a champion. It means breaking my heart when nets, rods and hooks catch, kill and maim the animals who hold my heart. It means getting critical habitats declared as marine protected areas to try and reverse this death and decline. It means a never ending fight. So just as the ocean tides ebb and flow, being a marine biologist also means sometimes ebbing and giving myself a break getting lost in other interests and hobbies for a little bit. It means gardening, hiking, painting, more hiking, exercise classes, dance, yoga, crossfit, and more hiking. But it means that right in my core, in my heart center, I know my whole life will be dedicated to understanding and protecting the color, the diversity, the strangeness, the hugeness and vastness, the intelligence, the culture, the uniqueness, that is life in our oceans. That which gives us life, gives us air, gives us what we need to sustain ourselves. This is what it means to be a marine biologist.